And one of the main groups of worship soul of the white people are the so called family of the white community family. You might have heard about mm -hmm. uh, the function of, of uh, uh, these vitamins. So, for example, if, if someone cannot take I'm just shift F, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if someone cannot take enough uh, vitamin B1, whose name is thiamine or anarene, you know, mm -hmm. he generally, he or she is generally complaining for, for headache, for insomnia, you know, mm -hmm. cannot uh, sleep uh, enough. So this is a kind of uh, of uh, vitamin B1 uh, under un undertake. I mean, I mean, not enough vitamin B1 uh, gets into the into the body. It was isolated from from the peel of of, uh, uh, of uh, rice. Peel of? Peel of rice. Oh, rice? Rice. Do you know? Uh, in the, the, rice? Uh, the rice is typically white. Yes. But the peel of them is brown. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Uh, 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 so yeah. when, when you go to uh, the supermarket and buy rice, mm -hmm. you typically buy only the unpeeled rice. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So this vitamin was isolated from the peel of, the, of rice, originally. So, so those people who take uh, unpeeled rice okay, can take a, a, a lot of vitamin B1 and to say that. No. As for the chemistry of vitamin B1, is fairly interesting. It, uh, there is a methylene bridge. And this methylene bridge connects uh, two heterocycles, a pyrimidine heterocycle and the thiazole uh, heterocycle. Mm -hmm. This thiazole heterocycle contains a quaternary nitrogen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a thiazolium uh, uh, cation. Okay. So, so this vitamin carries a permanent positive charge. This positive charge is a permanent positive charge. It exists at any pH. Uh -huh. okay. Since this is due to a quaternary nitrogen. Here is another one. Uh, aromatic. This is an aromatic ring. Uh -huh. This is an aromatic amine, uh -huh. whose uh, of which protonation depends on the pH, oh. on the actual but pH. But first is not dependent. No, but it's not. Since the, the, so this positive charge is not due to protonation. If the positive charge is due to protonation, mm -hmm. okay, the positive charge is not permanent. This positive charge depends <coughs> whether this nitrogen is protonated or non-protonated. No. But this quaternary nitrogen always carries a positive charge. Positive. Since this positive charge is not the consequence of, 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 of the protonation, uh -huh. okay? Then you when you buy a preparation from which you wish to prepare a pharmaceutical uh, tablet or or whatever, uh -huh. obviously you order vitamin B1, and at the site of uh, manufacturing vitamin B1 they protonate this nitrogen and isolate the salt. Okay? okay? But this is outside the body. When it gets into the body, it, it, uh, so in, 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 in its salt form, which is uh, in the form of opel, uh -huh. this is the formula you can meet. Okay? Uh -huh. And when it, when it gets into the body, this uh, ammonium cation, can it's protonated in the stomach, uh -huh. obviously, but partially can be deprotonated in the intestine. Oh, in the intestine, intestine, the pH is basic. Yeah, okay. No, and you see, uh, 
if you compare the UV spectra mm -hmm. of the same compound in hydrochloric acid, or in buffer pH 6.6, basic, you see, let's see, how much difference is the UV spectrum of it, indicating that the protonated form, the electronic structure of the protonated form, and the electronic structure of the non-protonated form is very much different. Okay? No. So, this is the simple synthesis of, of this uh, vitamin uh, B1. It, it has a charge. Is it absorbed uh, absorb by the own body or not? Yeah. Because it has a positive charge. It, it, yes, it, it absorbs. Not, not very good, but, but, uh, can, but can be absorbed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Since, yeah, you're right. Since, in spite of this permanent positive charge, mm -hmm. it can be absorbed. But no, perhaps this is a simple synthesis. This is the pyrimidine unit, okay? Um, chloromethylene derivative. And here is the thiazole, and you just link it. This is a positively charged carbon because of the chlorine. The chlorine is electronegative. Here we have a pair of electrons, and this nitrogen can take this chlorine as linked together. Okay? Now, good. Now, let's see some reactions of it. Uh, which is which are in the form of opel. Okay, mm -hmm. these reactions are typically used for identification of the compound or uh, or quantitative determination of the of the compound. Now let's see. If you apply a mild oxidizing agent like iron three cations mm -hmm. in the form of Hexocyanoferrate. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, this ma under such mild oxidation conditions, you see, an oxidative cyclization occurs. Okay. An oxidative cyclization occurs, and uh, the two heterocycles okay. are linked together by means of formation of a third heterocycle. A pyrimidine heterocycle again, mm -hmm. and this is a uh, this is this compound possesses an extended conjugation, mm -hmm. fairly rigid, and that's why it shows a blue fluorescence. It shows a blue, blue fluorescence. Okay. But the name of this is thiochrome. 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 Okay. Thiamine thiochrome. Chrome right. means color, yeah? Yeah, chrome means color. Okay. Yes. The other thing, that reaction with lead to acetate. Okay. This compound, when it's protonated, okay, under base and, and in under basic conditions, R is the rest. Uh -huh. Okay, I mean this form, uh -huh. okay, can show a very interesting reaction, namely, under basic conditions, a hydroxide ion can be added onto this carbon nitrogen double bond. In this way, the carbon nitrogen double bond is converted into the single bond. You see, this mm -hmm. is. This is the asset. This is the most important reaction. This one. Yeah, that addition of hydroxide ion onto the uh, the thiazole the thiazolium uh, unit of the molecule. All chain it doesn't change. Yes, the the R R that is that this one. Yeah. You see? Yeah. yeah. R is this one. Just the only change is in this thiazolium uh, uh, moiety. What's the name of this new compound? This, this is thias, this is thiazole, hydroxy thiazole, and it's two hydroxy uh, thiazole. Yeah. Okay, the hydro thiazole. However, you see, this is a very interesting carbon. This is a carbon, or to which 
three heterocarbons are linked to yeah. carbon, yeah. nitrogen, carbon, oxygen, carbon, sulfur. And typically, such carbons are not very stable. Like not the any other time, yeah, or yeah, yeah. you remember, we are mm -hmm. always uh, uh, repeating this that if we have an sp3, the two heteroatoms are typically so form is stable. No, this compound also shows an oxo uh -huh. and and thiohemiacetal. This can be considered as a thiohemiacetal, since here is the formula, the C double double O yeah. H and the S H is added on to it and you got this. So this is the like the hemiacetal also uh, the duct. Yes, you uh, remember uh, as it was look as it was this C O H mm -hmm. plus H O R and And this one, however, here the situation is a little bit different, like is here. Okay. H R. Mm -hmm. Now look, try, try to identify carbon. Okay. Carbon oxygen double bond. Carbon oxygen double bond. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we got it. Mm -hmm. R S H. R S H. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. R S H. Uh huh. The sulfur is added onto the carbon, and we got the carbon. Okay, here, here uh -huh. we are, uh -huh. with the hydrogen, not shown, uh -huh. with the hydrogen, hydrogen. Oh, look, not shown, yes, of uh -huh. hydroxyl, hydroxyl, we have it, uh -huh. okay, S -R. Uh -huh. we have it, and this is the cyclic form, uh -huh. so this is in the equilibrium, okay, yes. uh -huh. and, uh, and this one, and this compound can form a brown precipitate with lead ions, since this is a thioalcohol. And you remember hydrogen sulfide also forms a lead a brown precipitate with lead yes. ions. So this one is typically, if you mix it with lead acetate, okay. a brown precipitate is formed. Mm. And the other thing that on standing, this uh, thio alcohol is oxidized to desulfides. You remember the thio alcohols are oxidized to desulfides. Yes. No, so that's about it. Means that under basic conditions, that, uh, that this reaction proceeds, which makes the compound unstable. Okay. Vitamin B2. B2. Uh, vitamin B2 or riboflavin. Riboflavin. It was also isolated from the peel of rice. Again? Again. Uh -huh. It was also isolated uh, from peel of rice. No, let's see. This is the structure of riboflavin. Okay? And here it is, uh, there is also a double bond. I missed uh, the double bond. But uh, uh, we can correct it. Mm. Now, this is the ring system. This is the heterox ring system, okay. it's composed of three rings, and the name of this ring system is isoalloxazine. 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 Okay. Mm. The name of the ring system is isoalloxazine. This is the. Uh, uh, you mean this one? Here is a double bound. Here is this unfortunately. No. This is the numbering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9 and 10. That's really Why numbering is like this? Uh, you know, no, there, are easier non, there are non 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 traditional. I mean, there are some there are numbering. There are uh, there are several heterocycles, which has very specific numbering because this numbering was was set well before the set of the Ayupak rules, mm -hmm. and you know everybody used it, and the Ayupak did not change. And that's why this is typical. However, it frequently happens in such a three cycles like phenotyazines as well, that the middle heterocycles, in case of phenotyazines, the S and, uh, and N, mm -hmm. go to the number 9 and number 10. So it frequently happens in such three cycles that you number the first ring, miss the middle, number the third ring and go back to the middle. Okay? No, so this is the isoalexazine. And as for isoalexazine, we have uh, the two methyl groups mm -hmm. here. And here is a one, two, three, four, five carbon side chain. Mm -hmm. Okay? And with the uh, hydroxyl groups. Okay? And this is the reduced form of ribose. Yeah, this is ribose. Okay. This is the reduced form of ribose. So it means that a ribitol unit is linked to nitrogen number nine. Okay. That's why it's called riboflavin. These are the ribose. So yeah. The, yeah. So this ribo, okay, mm -hmm. refers to the ribose. Oh. That's why it's riboflavin. Flavin means? Flavin. Flavin. Flavus. Uh, yellow. Oh. Maybe you. Uh, Album is void. Flavus is in technology. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, what is this? This technological uh, name of the Vaselinum Vaselinum Album Vaselinum Flavum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Vaselinum Album and Vaselinum Flavum. Mm -hmm. No. So this one. Okay. You see, this is a possible synthesis that you you got this uh, starting material. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, diamine. Okay. An orthodiamine. Okay. Okay. And one of the nitrogen is protected. One of the nitrogen is protected. Can you identify this molecular unit here? This is CO. Here is a nitrogen. What kind of material is this? Ethyl? Carbamic acid. Carbamic acid. Yeah, this is a carbamic acid ethyl ester. Mm -hmm. okay. No. So we protect one of the nitrogens mm -hmm. by, uh, to, pre to set up a carbamic acid ethyl ester unit. Mm -hmm. Okay? So in this way we have only one nitrogen free to react is ribose. Okay? Uh -huh. Ribose forms a shift base uh -huh. carbon nitrogen double one. Okay. And we reduce uh, the shift base and we got this. Okay. So this is the this is the first, okay? And afterwards we take an uh, oxidized form of uh, of uh, this pyrimidine is aloxan. Uh -huh. okay, maybe you might remember aloxan can be obtained when we oxidize uh, cofein. Yeah, yeah, aloxan. Uh, and um, as a result of the, of the constant reaction, uh, reaction, yeah, yeah. exactly. 
uh, as a result of condensation reaction of this unit and this unit, you can get triple sloppy. How to remove the uh, the carbonic acid? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll make a lot of uh, basic. Yeah. So if you make the solution basic, this carbonic acid uh, decomposes and undergoes decomposition. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Okay. So this is ribofloxacin. Now let's see what is the chemistry of ribofloxacin. Ribofloxacin is not stable as well. <laughs> An hour in tiamine was also one stable. Yeah. Okay. Ribofloxacin is also not uh, too stable. No. So, if when you illuminate it, mm -hmm. okay, I mean just sunshine, yeah. okay, the decomposition occurs. Then the medium is acidic, okay, the whole side chain, okay, is lost, mm -hmm. you see, and the uh, the fluorescence derivative is formed, which is called lumicron. Okay? This is the derivative. By the way, riboflavin itself also uh, uh, shows fluorescence activity. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. However, then the, uh, the, the uh, I mean the the pH is basic. Uh -huh. Okay. It, it, it is not this bound which undergoes fission, uh, losing the whole side chain. Mm -hmm. However, this bound next to the first uh, primary and secondary alcoholic hydroxyl is bounded, and the methyl group is is uh, remain. And this is also another uh, derivative which is called lumiflavin. So riboflavin, lumiflavin, and lumicron. Okay. These are the same. And what? Uh, so if you if you want to perform a very simple test, okay, mm -hmm. whether such decomposition products are formed or not, you dissolve vitamin B2 in water. Mm -hmm. It is water soluble because of this very uh, hydrophilic side chain. Mm -hmm. Full of OH. No, yes, yeah. full of OH. Mm -hmm. Mix with chloroform okay. and shake it. Okay? Mm -hmm. And these compounds are much less polar. These compounds are much less polar. Yeah. So these compounds dissolve in chloroform. But you told this is not lipophilic. No. This is this is Water soluble vitamin. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the original molecule is water soluble. Yes. If the original molecule undergoes decomposition, uh -huh. resulting this derivative or this derivative, well, doesn't matter which other, one. Doesn't matter which one. As a result of this decomposition, uh -huh. uh, a much less water soluble compound is formed. Uh -huh. Because these compounds do not carry the this lipophilic this uh, hydrophilic molecular unit. Uh -huh. So these yes. compounds so water solubility is much less. Obviously it's chloroform solubility is high. Right. Okay? Uh -huh. and this is the case with this. So if such uh, decomposition products are formed these decomposition products goes over to the chloroform phase and you show, you can see that, oops, the chloroform phase is showing fluorescence. Okay? But just this... Uh, this one, yeah. But this, this one does not go uh, for the chloroform phase. I mean, it's fluorescence because uh, lumichrome is fluorescent. Fluorescence, but yeah. lumiflavin also. Also? Also. But the fluorescence spectra are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Okay? No. 
riboflavin, IR, optical activity. This is the first identification, I aspect. Second, okay. Dissolving water, the solution is yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, it shows green fluorescence. Okay, and optical activity. Sharga means blue. yellow. Oh, yellow. Sharga means yellow. Yellow. Zöld means green. Zöld is yellow. And there is a very interesting and specific reaction of riboflavin. Uh -huh. If you if you dissolve a silver nitrate, if not in silver nitrate aqueous solution, okay, okay, it shows the orange color, and after a few hours, a red precipitate, a red solid stuff precipitates out. That's the silver sort of the of the of, of, of the heterocyclic part. Mm. Okay. Well, identification of the yeah, identification. We put the in form of the form. Yeah. Okay. Identify. Vitamin B6. Pyridoxine. Pyridoxine. Vitamin B6. Pyridoxine. It's a. It's a series of compounds with very similar uh, 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 structure. This is pyridoxine or pyridoxol. The English pyridoxol. Yeah, it's pyridoxol. Pyridoxol. Because of the pyridine, yeah? Yeah, py yeah, pyrid because of the pyridine ring. Uh -huh. Okay. And pyridoxol since the functional group linked to carbon number four is a hydroxy methyl group, I mean an alcohol. Okay? That's why this is pyridoxol. Pyridoxol in the body okay, can be oxidized to pyridoxal, I mean this hydroxy methyl group can be linked to pyridoxal. Okay? And in addition, this pyridoxal can be converted to pyridoxamine. Pyridoxamine. Okay. Each of the compounds, I mean pyridoxol, pyridoxal, and pyridoxamine, shows high vitamin B6 activity. Really? Yes. Into the body? Yeah, they the equal in the equal interconverted. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. No. So this is pyridine. Pyridine is a slightly basic heterocycle, uh, uh, you remember? Yes. And uh, all of them has got. Uh, Phenolic OH, mm -hmm. it's common. Mm -hmm. Okay, this hydroxy methyl group and the structure of the uh, uh, of the relatively uh, similar uh, B6 vitamins only differ in the structure of the substituent uh, in position four. Hydroxy methyl formyl and amino methyl. In carbon number four, they can change, but carbon, no, carbon number five is also. Right, look, it, is, it depends on the mechanism of the enzyme catalyzed. These are enzyme catalyzed reactions, obviously. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, obviously the mechanism of of uh, of the enzyme catalyzed reaction prefers this side. You know, for the oxidation reduction. But no, pyridoxine duratum or pyridoxine hydrochloridum. This okay. is the uh, preparation of the pharmacopoeia. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, let's see this. I'll go back. Okay. You see, here is, as I mentioned, here is, is a basic okay. functionality. And phenols are slightly uh -huh. acidic. Yes. Pyridine nitrogen is basic. The phenolic OH is slightly acidic. So it means this is an amphoteric compound. Mm -hmm. In crystal in crystal state, in the solid state, this sweeter sweeter ion form exists. It's like oh, amino acid, mm -hmm. you remember. So if you dissolve uh, this form three mm -hmm. and make 
the solution basic. Obviously, the ba the hydroxide ion deprotonate the acidic NH plus mm -hmm. and convert it into this negative recharged form. So, under basic conditions, which it, okay, this negative recharged form exists. If you make the solution acidic, positive charge. Okay, the acid, the strong acid protonates mm -hmm. the phenolate and ion mm -hmm. this way, and the whole molecule carries a positive charge. So this is the main, the dominant force at pH two. At pH two, this is the main or dominant form under basic conditions. And this is the dominant for the uh, close to the neutral pH. I think because of this, we don't have the vitamin B injection because it has no any absorption because of the pool of the positive yeah, charge. Yeah, yeah, and they yes. inject it mostly. So that's why you know uh, the absorption of vitamins is not. Uh, the first of all, the vitamins are not very stable, as you see. Yeah. Okay. The other thing, the, uh, because of the uh, special structure, fairly lipophilic compounds, okay, mm -hmm. the absorption is not very good. So I mean the, uh, the bio uh, availability is, is not very good. So you know that's why vitamin uh, tablets. There are only few uh, vitamin tablets. Yeah. Most of them are injections. Injections. Most of them. Every are. second week, I inject one vitamin B complex. Yeah, it's good since it's it's good good good, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now well, let's see. Here is a, a reaction. Gibbs reaction. Yeah, Gibbs reaction. Okay. The Gibbs reaction uh, is characteristic for those aromatic compounds which has got the hydrogen atom in prior position to, to a phenolic orange. So uh -huh. the Gibbs reaction is specific for those aromatic compounds uh -huh. which has got a hydrogen atom prior position to a phenolic orange. Okay? The reagent itself, okay, this chloridinid, dichloroquinone chloridinid, this is a uh, like paracetamol he need, you know. Mm -hmm. However, in case of paracetamol he need, there is an acetyl group linked to this nitrogen. Okay. However, here now a chlorine atom is linked to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is two, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, six D chloro. Non chlorine uh -huh. okay. And when uh, you allow it to react, the hydroxyl is uh, electron sending. And this one is, is a positive nitrogen, so it's, it's a, this is a reaching electron, pouring electron, okay? And that's why this substitution reaction could occur. Okay? Yes. Okay. <coughs> and this way, a conjugate is formed. And this conjugate uh, uh, has got a very specific color, which is blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it uh, it can be observed or identified by UV uh, spectrophotometer. This is maximum. Yeah, that's the maximum. Six hundred. Six hundred twenty. Okay. Six hundred twenty. So the Gibbs reaction. Okay. No, this by Gibbs or Gibbs? Gibbs. 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 Okay. Vitamin B12. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, Tianocobalami. Mm. Essential for absorption of iron. Yeah. And yeah. formation of hemoglobin. I think this is no, the uh, vitamin B12 is a complex, is a cobalt-3 complex, 
Okay. Uh, four uh, ligands of the copper, the central copper ion is nitrogen. This is porphyrin ring, right? It's no, very no. similar to porphyrin, but you see. What's the difference? The, first, the difference is that in porphyrin, all the uh, heterocyclic rings are linked to a methylene unit. Uh -huh. But here, two heterocyclic yeah, rings different. are linked together. The other thing, that the porphyrin ring, in which iron is the central ion, okay, is uh, continuously conjugate system. Conjugated Swiss system that single bound, double bound, single bound, double bound, long pair uh, uh, forms the ring. I mean, the, the porphyrin ring is aromatic. Because of the because it's cyclic planars and shows a, 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 con, a continuous uh, conjugation. Mm -hmm. So the hemoglobin in hemoglobin the hem unit mm -hmm. is an aromatic ring. Hem is aromatic. Yes. Yes, it is not. So in case of uh, in, in the case of B12. In case of cyanocobalamine, okay, this ring is non-aromatic. Yes. Double bound, single bound, long pair, double bound, single bound, long pair. However, here, you see, the no. conjugation is C's. So this is a non-aromatic. Okay. That's the second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second. And the other thing, as for the fourth, these these are four like four nitrogen. The fifth ligand okay, is a benzotyl, uh, benzimidazole ring, benz which is very useful, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> the benzimidazole nitrogen, which is linked to a ribose unit, uh -huh. and uh, all through a phosphate unit is linked to this amino acid yeah. and serine. This is serine? This is serine. This is serine. This is serine. This is OH. So, see you. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. This, is, this is only an ethanol amino. Yeah, ethanol. Okay. Uh, it was serine, but it's one of the different constellation. So, this ethanol amino unit and over a rich acid amide bounding mm -hmm. is linked back to the uh, to this ring. This heterocyclic ring is called the chlorine ring. Chlorine ring. That's the name of this. Okay. So that, that nitrogen binds to the cobalt or no? Yeah, it's, it's binds bind to the cobalt. Yeah. This is the fifth ligand. Okay. It is a complex. This is a complex. Yeah, this is a cobalt complex. Okay? One ligand, two, three, four, five, six. Five. And cyanide ion is the sixth one. However, the cyanide can be replaced. And in pharmaceutical preparations, typically it is cyanide ion because it's very stable. Okay? However, it can. It can be replaced for hydroxide ions in the body. Okay, and cyanide is not toxic for the body? It's a very small amount. That, uh, a lot of cyanide is formed uh, in the body and eliminated. So there is some, some capacity of, uh, of the body to yeah. eliminate cyanide. Yeah. yeah, of course, huge amount of cyanide is, is very toxic. Okay. Relatively, this is relatively a uh, low amount of cyanide. Okay. And you you remember it could be methyl group as well, mm -hmm. since uh, vitamin B12 can be involved in methyl transfer reactions. You remember? Yes. No. So this is a fairly complex molecule. This is a complex. This is a cobalt complex. Carbon ring, benzene ring, ring, phosphate uh, linkage. No, these are the most. I hope we don't need to.
Memorize. No, no, no. This is only to recognize. Recognize. Recognize and talk about. Okay. 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 As for the, uh, as for the pharmacopoeia, the pharmacopoeia uh, uh, describes determination of uh, the ex, uh, the specific extinction mm -hmm. of the cyanocobalamin preparations at these three different wavelengths. Uh -huh. Okay. And then, so you have a cyanocobalamin preparation. You order it, you are the manufacturer, I order it from India. It arrives to the quality control laboratory. Mm -hmm. In the quality control laboratory, they make the solution according to the pharmacopoeia, measure the uh, specific uh, absorption mm -hmm. at these three different wavelengths. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, they, you have to calculate the ratio of E361 to E278, mm -hmm. 61 to 78, mm -hmm. and the ratio of 361 to 548. 361 to 548. And the pharmacopoeia describes that this Lane ratio should be falling to this region. Okay? And your actual data is falling into the region, so it means your preparation satisfies the pharmacopoeia uh, uh, quality according to this test. You got it? Mm -hmm. Fully guessed. So it's only B9 or 10? Oh, I don't know, maybe there, there is some. Uh, the name of it, but yeah. typically uh, we call it folic acid. Okay. Folic acid is a folic acid has got a steridine ring. Okay. Uh -huh. It's a condensed ring of a pyridine and the pyrimidine and the pyrimidine. Okay. This is this is the basic system, and here are the substituents of it: the pyrimidine ring. It's an uh, amino and hydroxyl, fairly typical. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the pyridazine ring has got the side chain, okay, the side chain over which the paraamino benzoic acid is linked to this. The paraamino benzoic, benzoic acid. acid is 